Welcome back. Parents and authorities in Isiolo County are worried about a new hard drug gaining popularity among the youth there. The parents say after taking the drug, the users avoid food completely and want to drink only sodas. Our reporter Willy Lusige with more. For a long time, the northern region has been associated with negative stereotypes, including inter-community clashes and raising droughts. Overshadowed by this perception is the existence of cultures whose spectacular diversity will be highlighted in this year's Kalacha Cultural Festival, an event that brings together various communities to share and celebrate their cultural diversity. As representatives of Isiolo County live to attend the event in Marsabit, it is shocking to find out that the largest percent comprises of ladies with a couple of a few young men, one of them being a Borana movie DJ. Vandemi kumani tvan kore ka van kan kore lafalages. Ame panda van akenda injenjo kwa nini? Most of the youth have drowned in drugs and substance abuse. Kuna dawa ambayo na na tuma yama na I think Kenya mzima ni yapa isolo pete na tuma na ito akete. Ye dawa ile 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 utafiti mefanyika ni kana kwamba ni fijana wa isolo pete na tuma dawa. Makete, a new drug, has a match that comes with what some of the users consider hilarious repercussions. Iyo dawa inaitwa kete ni haina ya ni dawa ambayo ni haina ya poda ni kana ni ni haina tofauti na unga na ni dawa tunaambia kwamba vijana wanatumia na inaonyima chakula ile kitu ambao wana wanafanya kutumia dawa wakati wana wakati wanaweza kutumia dawa au kuli chakula bali wanatumia soda peke yake na hiyo ni moja hapo ya sheria ya hizo dawa akwamba hawapaswi kukula bali unye vinywaji kama soda this drug is gaining popularity because of its availability and cheapness compared to traditional illicit substances such as heroin and cocaine. Ni dawa na bidi ya utaki joto, utaki jua, unataka maliki vuli, unataka vitu baridi baridi ili mwili cool. So vile hiyo mwili inakuwa zaidi unapata mtu ni kama uko na kibaba, unapata mtu kama amechanganikiwa. Apart from being a growing problem for the youth, it is now affecting the underage. Unatumia soda kwa wingi, unakuta mtoto anatoa jasho, anaoga mara inne kwa mchana moja, usiku anaoga kwa sababu ile ile jasho anatoa kwa mili. Unasikia mtu anakimbisha hospitali na baada ya kosawa. Unaona mtu anaara damu, anakojoa ya excess. Unakuta mtu mnakaa na yeye kidogo amebadilika hapo kwa hapa. The county government has been accused of sleeping on the job even after being told of the main suppliers. Kana kwamba kuna mama mmoja pale anakaa kaosh. Yeye ndio mmoja hapa ambayo anasambaza hiyo dawa katika vijana wa Isiolo. Na hiyo ripoti ilifikisha kwa idara ya upelelezi, county commission na kuna habari, anamtambua promising to curb the manners through introduction of various youth programs. We are going to set up uh, youth groups or we find the youth groups that are existing, we give them the, uh, some money to start some capital to start businesses so that they become entrepreneurs and do a lot of businesses so that they are not idle. The youth in Solo County have strongly been eaten by drugs. Willie Lusige, KTN News. Worrying indeed. Now Kenya is striving to change the stagnant statistics on maternal, infant and child mortality. In October last year, the government expanded free maternity services, targeting 400,000 women who are delivering at home through an initiative dubbed Linda Mama. This would see expectant women access free antenatal and postnatal clinics, as well as one-year-long child health services in public and selected private hospitals. Ray Polo looks at a case study of young mothers and a midwife for mutually embracing hospital delivery in Cabernet, Baringo County. 30 degrees Celsius. Just the right temperature for a newborn who cannot survive on mom's natural warmth. She sucks soundly, oblivious to the ticking technology that is behind her very existence, at least until her body will be strong enough for the outside world. Meanwhile, new moms come in to feed or admire their budding beauties. This is the new face of the labor ward at Beringo County Referral Hospital. It is an attractive establishment that beckons many expectant mothers, even drawing them from the sooty hearts of traditional bath attendants. Yeah, your tradition is because when you happen, I when you know, I 
indeed a sure aboard to bring forth a life. But the hills of Chemolingot hide many tears. Some mothers and children have succumbed to pregnancy and childbirth-related complications. That is why Beula and Teresa do not take chances. It is a triple dose that encapsulates a healthy baby in a healthy environment and at no cost. Nilikuja siku ya kwanza, kufika nikakuja kukaka kidogo. Ikafika time ya kuzaa sasa nikaenda kuzalishwa nikazaidiwa mzuri. Huyo ni mtoto wangu wa kwanza. Na nimeletea vizuri. Hata chakula tunapewa vizuri. Tunashiba kabisa. The moms are beneficiaries of the Linda Mama Project, an initiative of the Kenyan government that ensures free maternal services at public health facilities. Equipment at Beringo Hospital have improved and so has the number of deliveries. We've seen increased number of deliveries progressively from a, about 2,100 in 2013 to uh, 2,450 in uh, 20. Uh, 16. In a generational twist, Jemolingot mothers are shelling off age-old dependence on traditional bath attendants. Hi, hiyo kwanza kwanza hiyo inakuanga risk sana. Nyeri hospital jumu tunazaidiwa mzuri. Even Christine Lumuda has hung up her three-decade-old tools and directs her former clients to hospitals. Udiyanyo <laughs> daoni kipapi hospital yo. Let expectant mothers go to the hospital because that is where there is good health and able doctors who can do what I cannot. She only keeps a record to track past patients' progress, her wrinkling hands only delivering babies when emergency strikes. Nationally, more and more women receive antenatal and postnatal care. When the late to say, Jivuri maternity may fika. But challenges still lie in fund limitation and delayed disbursement. One thing that needs to be done is one prompt a, a provision of money. I think there has been some question or delay in a, a accessing the funds. Meanwhile, for Beula and Teresa, nothing beats the warm embrace of a healthy baby. Ray Polo, KTN News. And as part of the efforts to delay the rise in traffic accidents on main highways during the festive season, the National Transport and Safety Authority and Traffic Police held a surprise a day-long crackdown on the Nairobi Nakuru Highway. The operation targeted trailers and public service vehicles as operators were breaking traffic rules. Tunaangalia illegal PCV. Wengi wanakomboa magari kwa ajili ya msimu huu wa Christmas. Msimu huu na sema ya kwamba madereva naonya madereva kuelekea magari polepole mkizingatia we have arrested a number of trucks which had defective brakes. Some of them we have allowed them to fix, while others we have detained them until the company fixed them. My advice to the transporters is ensure that you check the condition of your vehicle before you start your journey. They drive with the brakes. The brakes are, are, are supposed to be used when necessary, not all the time. So going down a descent, the driver is supposed to put the right gear not use the brakes all the time. When you use the brakes all the time, what happens is that your brake temperatures go up. Yeah? Your brake coefficients go down. That means you, are, you will not be able to brake when need be. Well, that's a good reminder to follow traffic rules during this festive season. You're watching Weekend Prime. We take another short commercial break. Just stay with us. Spots News is up next.